Two times I have tried and two times I have failed at trying to make a 3D printed ukulele. And I'm hoping that this will be the third and final attempt at getting this to work. Welcome to Figure Feedback, everybody. My name is Jeremy. And in order to do this, I have once again enlisted the help of the people at JLC 3DP. They've been supporting this channel for a little while now, and I love the parts that I get from them. And I want to thank them for sponsoring this video to finally put my failures to rest. So what I had them do this time is print me out some of the parts of this ukulele using SLS nylon because I wanted things to be tough. I didn't want things to just be snapping and breaking. I wanted it to be good quality. So that's what they did for me. For the body of this ukulele, now I printed this myself on the Bamboo Lab H2D with some basic bamboo PLA filament. Got it right here. And by the way, this is a different design than what I tried before because I'm trying to eliminate all those potential failure factors that I experienced before. But GLC 3P, look at these printed parts that they uh, made for this ukulele. They included this neck here, very, very nice. They also printed these tuning pegs that I have here. They printed this ring that goes into the sound hole and that is pretty much it. Oh yes, the headstock for the ukulele as well. They also printed that. And the great thing about this design from what I've seen is um, it doesn't require any supports, but the other great thing here is the bridge is incorporated into the body of the ukulele. And that was a part that had failed for me before because under the tension of the strings, the bridge that I glued on and tried to secure with PETG screws just got ripped clean off. And those screws got ripped in half. And then the bottom of the screws were just lodged in the ukulele. And I'm like, I don't know how to get these out. And I just kind of gave up. But this is incorporated into the body. So that should eliminate that issue all right so um i don't want to waste any more time let me try to get this all put together so the first thing here is connecting the body of the ukulele and the neck of the ukulele now this neck here i mean this ukulele is going to have some pretty heavy neck dive because this is a pretty solid part and it's kind of heavy but it should just slot right into this so we're going to see the power of this sls nylon with this PLA body, look at that. It just fit right in. It is a perfect fit. Awesome, excellent. One thing also that I wanted to mention is that when it comes to these tuning pegs, they're built in to this headstock here. So when you put the tuning peg in, you can turn it and then it, tur it has like gears on the inside. It's a very nice design. So I love that about it. Now, this is the one that JLC 3DP had printed for me, but I did not realize that with this SLS uh, nylon printing, uh, these are pretty much frozen in place. So when I put the pegs in here and I try to turn it, you know, the gears, they're not moving. So this is like a solid object. So that's why this part won't work out for me. But I just went ahead and printed this on the Bamboo Lab H2D as well, put some multi color in it turn this around and it works just fine so i'm just going to screw these in here as well and because this is made out of that nylon material it's going to be good and tough so i'm just making sure that these turn the way that they should and so far so good all right so all of these are moving we got also here this part that goes into this uh sound hole here oh okay i see there's like a little triangle piece like right there and then there's also that little triangle sort of teardrop shape right there on the uh on the body so i should just be able to put this in here i got that in here okay perfect now here's like one of the last parts about this now this does require a little bit of glue just for this one part here and that's for taking this headstock here and just connecting it to this upper portion right here now it is a very nice fit but i am going to have to put some glue on here just to make sure that they adhere to each other really, really good. And then I'll be able to string it up. This is a 
two-part rapid adhesive that has really just changed the game for me when it comes to gluing 3D printed objects together. You put some glue on one part and then you can combine the two pieces together and then use this spray here and then it just instantly bonds them and it's a really strong bond. So I am going to put this glue right here and although I like, I, I don't want to go nuts with the glue, I also don't want to put too little on there. Okay, looks like I got that lined up evenly. So let me double check before I commit. A little bit of squeeze out, but that's okay. That is okay. All right, let's commit to what we've done. No going back now. Headstock is officially glued on. And I am going to harvest the strings that were on this failed ukulele to put on this one. So let me just go ahead and pluck these out. You know, stringing the ukulele takes the longest amount of time. So I'll bring you back after I got this settled. All right, let's take a look at the progress. In case you never tuned or strung up a ukulele before, it is a very, uh, well, it takes a little bit of time because these strings, they like to go in and out of tune as they're stretching and everything. So got myself a little uh, clip on tuner here. And here's what I've got so far. Not quite in tune. So we still got some more tuning to do. So we are almost there. I'm just gonna keep working on this. I did it, I actually did it. I finally made a 3D printed ukulele that actually works. Kudos to this designer. I'll put a link to this ukulele in the description. I found it on Maker World H2J Concepts that has just put together something that is so simple yet effective, very effective. I love this integrated bridge and like the only thing you had to do was just glue on the headstock. But even then there's this guide there so that you know that you're gonna get it even. So, you know, it's not like all off and everything and the built-in tuners. This is just really, I'm happy. I'm happy about this. Now, I've been uh, kind of messing around with it, but um, you know, ukulele strings, they take a while to settle in, so it'll tend to go out of tune, but listen. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. You know, and then the neck on this, you know, it just feels, it's, it's really, really nice because, you know, this is this, um, this nylon material. It's got a little bit of a tiny bit of a grain texture to it, but I kind of like it because it makes it feel like it's more, uh, something like more premium sort of. And as these uh, strings still just sort of settle in, you know, things are kind of going out of tune a little bit, but you know, with 3D printed ukulele, you know, I can only expect so much. And um, it's been a long time coming for me to be able to say that I have something like this that's entirely 3D printed with the exception of the strings, of course. <laughs> That's fun. So, yeah, I do want to once again thank the folks at JLC 3DP for 3D printing some of these parts uh, with nylon for the selective laser centering in order to, you know, just give this a more premium quality feel. The designer to this H2J concepts for putting together uh, such a marvelous and easy way for anybody anybody with a 3d printer can just print this just entirely at home you don't have to go the nylon route like i did you just print all of this at home and you have a functional instrument it's functional 
It just may be the most functional thing that I have right now in my 3D printing collection. So that is going to do it for now. And if you found this video to be entertaining, informative, valuable in any way, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. And I always have new videos coming, so you'll know exactly when those videos drop so that you can check them out. But I'm gonna go bask in my victory, finally printing a ukulele that works. All right, so until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.